Welcome to Greenshine Farmers video blog about a family starting a farm and going back to the homestead lifestyle. Hi and welcome to Greenshine Farmers. Uh, this week I'm going to show you how to make pesto and also introduce you to our new baby. We had our our baby, our second baby boy. Um, which is also why we haven't posted in a month, so there's our excuse. Um, and we're also going to just kind of show clips of what we've been up to this last month since we have missed a little bit of airtime. So I hope you enjoy. One of our vendors ordered four pounds of fresh basil bagged probably to sell to restaurants. However, we our delivery day was on 4th of July and they forgot to tell us that they closed early. So now we have four pounds of basil harvested that we can't sell. So I am making homemade pesto. And that is what we're doing today on Green Shine Farmers. So I heard that toasting the pine nuts um, is definitely the way to go. Just make sure you don't over toasted them. Some of these I over toasted as you see. Um, but I think it'll still be good. All right. so in the fruit food processor you want to add your cheese and pine nuts. I did two ounces of cheese and three tablespoons of pine nuts and one clove of garlic in here. You want to pulse this mixture about ten times. Then we're going to add about three ounces of fresh basil without the stems on it. And we're also going to add half a teaspoon of salt. Then we're going to pulse that about 15 times, scrape the side, pulse it a few more times. I'm going to add two squirts of lemon juice. Then we're going to add the olive oil slowly while putting it on low. Then I made some jars of the pesto to give to neighbors that helped with the food train when we had our new baby and the rest I just froze in Ziploc bags for our consumption over time. And that's it. That's how I made the homemade pesto with the four pounds of harvested basil. That was a good kisses, Odin. Did you give Zeb some good kisses? So sweet. He wears his nose, Odin. Can you be gentle? This is nose. Hey, Odin. Do you love big brother? I mean, do you love little brother? Yeah. Do you love him? Can you say, I love you? So, today is my first day as a mom with two kids with no help at all because. Nona left. She was here with us for three days with her friend Trudy and it was so awesome and I cried when she left. I was a little overwhelmed. <laughs> this little guy keeps squeaking um, but I managed to finish one of my chores that was supposed to happen before I gave birth but because he was early I didn't get around to it and that's making meals for myself. 
So look at all this good food I made. I don't think I've ever made this much food in one day in my life. But this is what I meant to do again before I gave birth, but since that didn't happen, I had it all prepped and ready. I just had to throw it together and put them in containers. So today was a really busy day, but because of it, we have some coconut butternut squash soup. We have some chicken mushroom rice broccoli. There's mushroom rice underneath there. And then we've got two things of what I like to call spaghetti butternut squash lasagna. I'm going to put the mozzarella cheese on top at a later date, maybe when we actually go to put it in the oven. And over here, um, in the uh, last video, we harvested our rabbits, and so this is the leftover rabbit roast made into rabbit stew. So we should, between this and uh, the street I live on, is putting on a, a big drop food drop for me so for the next week I got other people cooking but this will be good in the weeks to come um, if we have a stressful day but still really want some good food anyway I just wanted to show you all that